Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. This video is specially made for Just Nightcore. As you can see, the comment that I posted the birth of my webcam because of his uh, previous suggestion. I get to step out of my comfort zone and start making tutorial videos for this game. So you guys really have to thank him for that. And also, sorry for being late Nighthawk, um, but late is better than never, right? So, um, for your information, I will be making this wolf deck into two separate videos. One with Merlin and another one without Merlin, which is um, replacing with Shamash. And I'll be demonstrating the differences between two of the decks. So you can watch, you can compare and decide which deck you want to use, you know, which suits your playstyle the most. And let's break down the deck in details. So always keep in mind that when you are playing Werewolf, okay, you need to stack your full moon buff. Uh, as you can see, you have level 1, level 2 and level 3 buff with the damage being provided. You know, there's a huge difference there. There's a huge gap. So the most effective way to do that is to keep your wolf's damage at the minimum, you know, the bottom line, but still enough to take out those minions. And this way, you will be able to attack the minions with more hits. And meaning to say, you don't want to add any points to your wolf because when you add point, let me see, okay, when you add point, it means that you will be adding the damage to, to, to your wolf, okay? So don't do that if you are able to hold the line. Just keep it at the minimum so you get you can get more hits. So another thing is that I'll be using uh, Natalis as the candidate because uh, the passive damage that she provides um, is very good. You know, when you reach nine childs, you can get like a hundred and twenty-three percent of damage buff without consuming any man, uh, mana. And also you don't have to cast the skill so when you see that your opponent is having trouble you know folding off the minions so you know there's a lot of minions on his line or maybe there's a boss coming out you know like the clown the freezer or even a cube with annoying ability you just cast the skill and watch him suffer so basically you have uh, you know you have two advantage of using Natalis. now without further ado let's just start the battle and see how are we going to play the deck with Merlin, okay? So as usual, I won't be speaking much when I'm playing the game uh, but currently I'm using Merlin so I think I will still be able to speak a little because uh, there won't be... you know, I don't have to think too much when I'm playing this deck mm, It's kind of laggy Okay, so the first step, um, obviously we need to get the Awakened Werewolf, okay? But it seems like, uh, okay, the, okay, the opponent is still here. I thought he's away or something. Let's try to get the Awakened Werewolf and uh, we'll see how the game goes. Why is the game so laggy? Are we able to hold that? Okay, we are able to hold that. You know, that's just the main downside of this deck. As long as you are able to hold that, then you should be fine. Now let's get a 2 star Merlin Okay we have that And then just give him the buff real quick So since we have um, one werewolf awakened uh, What we need to do now is to focus on his star growth You know the star level have to be reaching level 7 7 stars so uh, let's just focus on that now. You know, we need to summon more uh, Avara King and we need to fuse the other child. 
to get more outracking and then you will be able to proceed and you know sustain the late game Okay, another thing here is that try to use normal Aurora King to get to uh, 5 stars, okay? So that you can fully utilize your uh, Go Aurora, Golden Aurora King to make it from 5 stars to 7 stars, okay? That is very important because of the resource management and you know, you don't always get uh, Golden Aurora King. Why is the game so laggy for now? I hope that I won't be disconnected and uh... So as you can see because I'm able to hold off, hold off the minions, you know, with uh, 56k of damage, so um, I'm not going to add any points on my wolf. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm freezing. Let me, let me just. Uh, So um, I wasn't noticed. I mean, uh, I wasn't aware of the opponent li uh, line and uh, you know the the card that he have on his platform. So, um, but it's okay. The clown, you know, did change his formation. You know, his his cards are now all you know being randomly swapped. Not to say swap, but uh, being randomly replaced with the other child. Okay, he have a seven stars. Uh, what do you call this? Mina, mm, Mina, the bird. Hmm. So the thing that we need to do now is let's just use some. Uh, let's just spend some of the, the the blue heart, okay? Because uh, we need to oh, shit. Let me just add one point because as you can see that I'm having trouble to hold off the minions. So uh, let me see. Okay, let's do this and this. Okay, do this again. Oh, okay, that's a bad position. Mm, okay, so I'll be using this on this and this. So I'll be having the 7 stars Okay So for this Merlin deck uh, Now I have one, I mean, one fully empowered werewolf You know, 7 stars In the ideal position So uh, now we need to proceed with Another wolf So let's see Why is my gameplay so laggy? It's really laggy, I don't know why. Uh, I don't think I can do anything for now because I tried to refresh my screen but uh, it's not helping anything.
Okay, uh, finally we have four star Merlin to swap uh, Bari. I think this is Bari, right? To swap Bari to uh, you know behind the wolf so that we can fully utilize the first column for our wolf that we have here. Okay, now we just move it here. Let me try to just, uh, you know, kill the health point of the opponent minion. Not sure is it, I mean, not sure is he going to make it, you know, is he able to hold that? Okay, I think he's able to hold that until the next boss. Oh man, this... This game is so laggy. <sighs> but I can't do anything. So now let's just provide some damage buff to it. And then Okay, let me just do this real quick and then later I will just move this move to the top left corner. Okay, I think he's he's going to lose now. So definitely, you see, as you can see, the the power of Natalis, you know, just to watch your opponent suffer with the active skill, and also um, my web is just one point. You know, I just add one point to it to hold the the lane. So I think that's all for this first video. You can see that uh, after a few rounds. I get one seven stars wolf and um, also Merlin is uh, not to say he's blocking some of the slot but uh, Merlin just provides you uh, more mobility okay but Shamash if you are replacing Merlin with Shamash you will definitely get um, a better you know another method that you, you are able to grow your wolf you know because shamas is you're just able to clone the aurora king and then you'll get a lot of aurora king that's the thing but um just before we end the video um, one good thing about merlin is that when you are actually facing an opponent with jiltin okay let's see jiltin um where are you okay this this sniper okay when you are facing opponent using her you know, having Merlin is definitely going to save you and beat the opponent red, uh, easily because you get to swap the, the position of your child without getting decreased, you know, like, yeah, uh, without decreasing any of your star level, you know, your child is safe as long as you have Merlin. So you just need to read the animation and swap on time. Uh, that is basically how you can uh, utilize Merlin mobility to counter Jelkin. So um, for the upcoming video of this second I mean the second video for this wolf I will be using Shamash you know replacing Merlin and we will see how it goes okay so you can compare and decide which deck are you going to play. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.